the now Indy, we're continuing to follow breaking news. Skycam 6 high above one of several federal raids that began this morning. Good afternoon. I'm Candace Aviles. And I'm Rafael Sanchez coming to you live from the RTV6 newsroom. This remains not only a breaking story, but also a developing one as the folks behind me continue to work every possible angle and looking at all the possible possibilities in this developing story. A story that we began reporting on way before 8 this morning. We're focusing on multiple raids at multiple locations. This was the scene outside the home of James Burkhardt. He was home when multiple federal agents came knocking. Considering the size of the home, the raid took hours. Burkhardt is CEO of American Senior Communities, which operates nursing homes for the Health and Hospital Corporation of Indianapolis. The corporation is best known for overseeing Eskenazi Hospital. Call 6 has learned that today's raid is part of a federal investigation looking into how ASC was billing the government for medical services through Medicaid and Medicare. There is a concern the company may have been overbilling. The FBI was not alone in this operation. Agents with Health and Human Services, as well as the Internal Revenue Service Criminal Division, also took part in the visits to multiple locations throughout central Indiana. Well, we also learned that FBI agents were at the office of Mr. Burkhardt, and for that, Call 6 investigator Kara Kenna, you've been digging into the story now for several hours, rarely several days uh, since we sit next to each other. I know what you're up to. What did you find out about Burkhardt? Well, James Burkhardt, he has a slew of leadership roles in the community. He's on a number of boards, including Burbuff Jesuit School. Now, Burkhardt is the CEO of American Senior Communities, which operates 94 nursing homes and long-term care facilities in Indiana and Kentucky. We're talking about thousands and thousands of patients. American Senior Communities is not commenting on the raid. Burkhardt is also a member of the Eskenazi Health Foundation Board. He's also the chairman of the board for the Indiana Healthcare Association. The association released a statement saying it has just learned of the investigation this morning and they're gathering more information, but their priority is their members across the state. Now, Health and Hospital of Marion County owns many of the nursing homes operated by American Senior Communities. For example, American Senior Communities operates Capital Nursing and Rehabilitation at 20th and Capital. That facility is owned by Health and Hospital. Now, we reached out to Health and Hospital, and they just released a statement this afternoon saying HHC is assured that Health and Hospital Corporation and its employees are not the target or subject of any investigation, and that this investigation is not related to the care that any patient has received at any of Health and Hospital Corporation's nursing homes. Moreover, this investigation will not impact the care care that residents received at any of our nursing homes. Health and Hospital Corporation is working closely with the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI to assist and cooperate. Because it is an ongoing investigation, it would be inappropriate for us to comment any further. Now, we reached out to James Burkhardt at his office today on his cell phone. We have not heard back from him, but sources tell us that he was home at the time of the raid, and that's what we know right now. Now, we saw all those FBI agents swarming that home. We've seen FBI agents and also agents with the IRS and HHS at several locations. Any idea how long this investigation may take? It could take weeks. It could take months. But at this time, we know there have been no arrests and no charges filed. And of course, investigates. We'll keep on top of this developing story. Absolutely. Kara Kenny, thank you so much. Of course, a story that our newsroom continues to gather information on. Another key component of what we do, of course, here is happens on the IndyChannel.com and the RTV6 app. And for that, our digital correspondent, Jordan Fisher, you join me now. There's so much more information that we could find as part of our team coverage on, on the website. Sure. What can we find right now? Uh, Raphael, everything we know we've put on the website right now. We also have a story where we, we really drill down into... Who is James Burkhardt? What do we know about him? But uh, far and away, the most popular story on the website right now is this story. It's uh, it's a map of all of the facilities owned by American Senior Communities. I'm going to hold that up a little bit higher. You, know, you can look. You can see uh, which ones are near to you. And, and more importantly, if you're not sure, if you have a loved one in, in one of these communities, they're all listed here. Uh, all the information, their website, you can look and see for yourself. But as Health and Hospital has just mentioned to us in their prepared statement, uh, the investigation, according to them, has nothing to do with patient care right. and nothing to do with them. A story, again, that we'll continue to follow, Absolutely. not only on dailychannel.com, but as well on air here at RTV6. Sure. Jordan, thank you so much. We'll see you a little bit later. Uh, Candace, that is the latest. We should also point out that the U.S. Attorney's Office in Indianapolis today, when we asked about the raids at those multiple locations, said no comment. A story that we'll continue to follow on the Now Indy at 4.30. Candace, now back to you.